Today we're taking a look at the Razer Basilisk V3 and I'm going to be doing an unboxing as well as sharing my pros and cons and all of the features that this little mouse has and telling you why it's possibly one of the best mouses on the market right now. So let's get into it. Now to get things started, this mouse retails for around $70 or 1,300 Rand local and it only ships with the bare minimum, which is basically just the mouse. Now the packaging itself is pretty small and if you start to unbox the entire thing you are immediately greeted with the mouse front and center and then behind that you have your translucent letter, your instruction manual as well as your stickers. Now the Razer Basilisk V3 is a wired mouse and the cable length is around 1.8 meters long and it also has one of those anti-tangle cables so you don't really have to worry about that cable getting caught or really tangling up somewhere on your desk. So for this one, you really don't need a bungee, but if you want to get a bungee, you're more than welcome to go out and do that. Now in terms of design, the Razer Basilisk measures in at 130 millimeters long, 60 millimeters wide, 42.5 millimeters high, and weighs in at around 101 grams, which means this isn't the lightest mouse on the market. Now it does have an ergonomic design with the little thumb notch on the left side as well as this little notch on the right side to kind of catch your hand to keep it from slipping off which actually does make this mouse feel a little bit more comfortable in hand. Now in terms of buttons, this mouse has a lot of them. Now if you take a look at the left side of your mouse you'll find your first three buttons then of course you'll find your left and your right click then if you take a look at your scroll wheel you have scroll up which is one scroll down which is two you have a left click which can actually tilt to the left you have a tilt right which is another button and then you also have your middle mouse click which makes your mouse scroll wheel five buttons in one and then if you take a look behind the scroll wheel you find two more buttons and the first one is of course to activate or deactivate the free scroll on your scroll wheel. And then lastly, the Razer Basilisk V3 has this little RGB strip which runs all along the sides of the actual mouse, which gives it this little glowing effect when it's actually resting on your desk, which is kind of a little cool feature, but if all the lights are on, you tend to not see that as it's not that bright, but it is a cool little effect and it kind of looks cool when you see it. Now to kind of jump back to the free spin feature, the free spin can either be activated, deactivated, or it can actually be placed into a smart mode. And in smart mode, it will actually detect the speed at which you actually spin the scroll wheel. And it will then decide to either activate or deactivate it, depending on that speed, which means you can actually keep it in smart mode and not have to worry about toggling it on and off. So if you need it in games and you need it at certain points, you can just activate the smart mode and then you can just easily flick it fast and then it will automatically go into free spin mode. Now onto the more technical side of things, the Razer Basilisk V3 has optical switches which are really responsive and they have a really good bounce back. You can store up to five profiles on the mouse itself which makes it pretty good if you're switching PCs a lot or if you just like to travel with your mouse or if you're a professional and you travel a lot to different setups and of course having your mouse and storing all your profiles on your mouse is very beneficial. And then in terms of the sensor, you do have your liftoff sensor calibration where you can actually change the distance at which it starts tracking your movement. And then you can also switch your sensor up to 26,000 DPI, which is insane. Now in terms of the actual feel of the mouse, I really enjoyed how it felt in hand. All of the buttons felt really good and all of the buttons were pretty easily reachable with my hand. But of course, if you have different size hands, which is either smaller or larger, you could tend to struggle to especially reach the thumb buttons at the back or if you have a smaller hand, the thumb button at the front. And then if you take a look at the bottom of the mouse, you'll find your profile button at the way back end of the mouse, as well as you'll see that it has large feet, making it easy and smooth to glide on any surface. Now, all of this combined really makes this mouse really good to use and really fun to play with as you have a lot of macros to actually use in game, which you can assign to almost anything almost making your left hand obsolete. And even though I really enjoyed using this mouse for general use as well as gaming, it does come with a few cons, so let's kind of get into those. Now first thing is the weight, and even though 101 grams isn't a lot, I know a lot of professional players are looking for lightweight mouses, and if they could find a way to actually strip down a lot of weight on this by actually removing a few features or removing some of the RGB, then it could actually be one of the better lightweight mouses on the market. 
Secondly, it has to be the fact that it is wired and the wire didn't actually give me any problems while I tested out this mouse. It's just I prefer a wireless mouse and they just look cleaner in setups. So if that doesn't bother you, then the second point doesn't actually even bother you as well. And thirdly, it has to be the button layouts. And even though, once again, this wasn't a problem for me, it could be a problem if you have smaller or larger hands. So it's just something to bear in mind before you actually go out and buy this mouse. Just know that you may not actually be able to reach that front thumb button or you may not be actually able to reach the back button as comfortably as well as the two buttons that are kind of below your palm as well. They aren't the easiest buttons to reach, but apart from that, you still have five buttons on your scroll wheel itself, which is more than most mouses have in general. And apart from all of those, this is really a solid mouse. I really enjoyed using it for general use. I really enjoyed it for gaming. And I just really enjoyed the aesthetics of the mouse as well. It doesn't look as aggressive, as gamey as most mouses do, which as I've said a lot before, I really do enjoy more of the kind of stealth mouses as I'm gonna start calling them now. And the ergonomic design really makes this mouse really comfortable to use. And at the end of the day, this mouse is a really good option for anybody just starting out or somebody who tries to take their gameplay pretty seriously. It really is a good solid mouse for anybody in those ranges. And that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions on this mouse itself, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below or reach out to me on any of my social media platforms. Links to those are also down in the description below. Now, if you're looking to pick up this mouse for yourself, I've left affiliate links down in the description below as well. So if you do actually use those links, it does support the channel. But also if you're just looking to see what the price is in your region or general information about that, you can also use that links. And as always, until next time, cheers.